Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Endless Space 2. Playing as Horatio, and this is a serious difficulty. About two down from the max level, if I remember correctly, so... Uh, looks like we have a new luxury resource. Now has access to Ionic Crystals. Very cool. And what's the other one? Eden Incense. Alright. Uh, there's Eden Incense, or there's Ionic Crystals, and then Eden Incense is right there. Production per turn, and... Oh, that's how much we're producing per turn currently. Preferred by whatever that is. I can't remember that, that, what that symbol is for the the people. Um, can't do anything level 3 modernization yet. Alright, we'll just end uh, the turn. Six turns on mineral robotics, now five turns. I think that's the Hisho, which is the one that says preferred by. Feel the heat. Seems you're under a great deal of diplomatic pressure. Well, hello there. Um, yeah, got a couple people who do not like me that much. Enter the negotiation screen to, to learn more about it. Uh, we were now friendly with the, uh, what are these guys? The uh, Eider? Population boost ended uh, to increase the chance that Hiroshima's population will increase, so that's fine. Uh, the next one we actually need is the Hisho if we're going to give it anything, although I'd like, I'm not super keen on their gene splicing effect. I mean, it's it's a thing, and it probably will come in handy. Um, can we boost you guys? Looks like we cannot currently boost you guys. So that's going to be fine. Influence How pressure. There's not really much I want to do with you guys, so... A demanding partner. The diplomatic pressure bar shows the three thresholds you can reach by exerting your pressure, blue part, against the pressure of the other empire, red part. So what is this? You can start asking demands once you achieve this threshold. More options. Um... Okay. Interesting. Doesn't seem to be much that we can do with you guys, though. Currently. Alright, we'll just let it go for now. We'll come back around. Uh, quest failed. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it was going to be really hard for us to get over there anyway. So, can we get a... Oh, it failed because somebody else pulled them into their stuff. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping we could do something with them. All right. Well, that's fine. Maybe we still have a chance at these guys, although I would have rather had those guys over there. Faction assimilated by Unknown Empire. The boost to... Okay, we saw that one. Uh, okay, looks good. We got another Hisho, so we're up to four of eight. One turn left on the Xeno Industrial Infrastructure. Everything else looks good. And turn. What's going on here? Why, why, why are you un unhappy? Unhappy people increase their rebellion level. Your star system. If it reaches maximum, some of your population will take arms against you. Oh, that's no good. So we need to do something about your happiness. Sneaky. So what are you guys? We got to make... Oh, wow. You are very unhappy. We can suppress you. Which would not be really beneficial at the moment. Um, we could go buy some of this stuff to get your happiness up a little tiny bit. Um, what else could we do? Um, we can start working on something that will increase your happiness. Maybe buy the supermarket. 
straight out. It's going to be expensive, but we got to keep you guys happy. So that may be exactly what we have to do. And we don't have anything else that can currently do that yet. So uh, we can put the Denark University on here. I don't know if that would be very beneficial. So you know what? Let's go ahead and just buy this very expensive thing outright. Finish it next turn and get a little bit of happiness that way. And then, you know what? Let's go see if we can buy some of the, whatever that's called, the kind of moss or I don't know what you would call it, little thing. Let's go to the market. That's not what I want. I want the, where's the market? Uh, why am I missing the market? Oh no, this is the market. I, I was looking at the wrong screen. Uh, we need some more of the uh, red sang. So luxuries, red sang, currently a bit expensive. We need at least, what, 20 it was? We have five, so let's buy, that's going to be very expensive to suppress this revolt. But it would also be very expensive if they actually revolted. Oh, no, I, I'd want five too few. So we need five more. All right, so let's seduce you guys. All right, so they're content at the moment. We're going to finish the supermarket. That's going to help a little bit. See what else we can do after that. Um, is there anything here that will give us more happiness? That's minus five per. That one's plus five per if we get the uh, savannah over here. Ah, it's minus eight per because of planet type. That's part of our problem. So maybe colonize the savannah over here to get a little bit more happiness from that. That might be an idea. So, wow, you guys simulated those guys. Fine. Uh, what is it you wanted again? Oh, explore curiosities. Yeah, okay. It's not easier said than done. Empty construction queue. Uh, you know what? Let's get another colonizer ship, which is the beautifier. Yes. Let's get another one of those. Get us another uh, thing going. We've got a lot of uh, other systems we can go to. Let's make sure we keep expanding. I kind of should have done that probably a few turns earlier, but it's going to be okay. Enter. Capture, simulate, or attract a new population type into your empire. Yeah, I don't really like the fact that those guys are there. That's that's frustrating me. <laughs> I'll be honest. Probably playing a little too slow and not aggressive enough of going after some of these things, going after some of these other systems and things like that. Tete a tete or something? I don't know. Elma, a major industrial hub for your empire, is holding a fancy summit for in industry leaders and politicians to mingle and talk business away from the scrutiny of the public eye. Um, we can condemn them. Plus 30 on system Elma. Or we can attend. Gives us more production. Eesh. Um, we'll come back to you. Deed, Endless Research Park, and Endless World failed. Okay, that's fine. So, Elma is currently mostly happy. But they also have quite a bit of production, so we're probably okay if we tank their production a little bit, just for the sake of happiness. So, yeah, let's just keep them happy. It's going to be fine. Keeps them ecstatic, which actually probably helps with our production a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, no, it just helps our growth and influence. Uh, the supermarket just finished. We're going to sustain, words, sustainable farms. We only got one turn left on that. Uh, what does that give your influence up to? Or your not influence, your uh, overall approval. 39%. Still not great. And that's only going to be for another, like, what, 10 turns until uh, us buying them off goes away. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe we can leave a governor over there to make them a little bit happier. That might work. In turn. We're about to have our beautifier. OK. 
Come on, turns. Let's go. All right, so let's get our beautifier out. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a new fleet with you. We're gonna send you over here to this other system, group you up with this other fleet. That way you can all go together and you're hopefully mostly safe. So let's, can we not merge you? Oh, hello, okay, so we, we, we exceeded our command points. Um, Let's drop off one of these guys and then merge you up because I'd really rather you not go out there by yourself. All right, so now you guys come down. Where do I want to colonize next? Maybe forest down here? Um, they have a couple negative things. You got one beneficial one on this huge gas frozen, but it's inhospitable currently. Not really a great system. What about Rhea? It's only got two planets. Also not amazingly great. Um... I mean, we can come over here to Idris, which is pretty good. Overall, uh, large boreal is not, not too bad. You know what? In that case, I should have just not sent my ship the other direction. Probably okay. Although I really want to kind of like not get bottled up back here, which I feel like these guys are about to start doing. As bad as force is, do we want to just go for it anyway? <laughs> I don't know. If we get this one and we get these two back here, um, that wouldn't be too bad. That would also imply getting Aine or whatever, which again is only two planets. It's a large force though, is not bad. You know, it's not going to be an incredibly strong system, but let's go do that one first. Just kind of push out our borders just a smidge. Construction queue is empty. I'm glad it told me that. Um... You guys are ecstatic currently, so you're good in that department. Um, everything else looks fine-ish. We could get you up to level two. Um, sure. Get us a lot more gold. Um, and you are producing this stuff anyway, so might as well. Let's do that. You need more contentment type things, and I don't know if that's going to be possible. I mean, your overall population would be not amazing. I mean, the Savannah right here has got a lot of people, so getting the Denark University would not be the worst thing in the world. You know what? Let's just colonize this then. Let's see if we get a little bit more happiness from that itself. All right, so everything's good there. More his show, so we're up to five of eight. Ah, another uh, skill here. So do you have any improval bonuses? Uh, you don't currently seem to have any. So you would not be the person I move over, so that's that's fine. Um, let's just take this other point here, that's going to be fine. More food is always probably going to be good. And everything looks good here. Three turns on robotics. Like I said, an INA over here is not an amazing system, but it's, it's supposed to be a little bit of a strategic system. Try and claim more of this area for us. I really would have liked to have flip those guys. I, I felt like that would have been good. And I just, I, We probably just need to get all these systems here just, just to have them. Three unique star systems improvements in your empire. I've been slacking on that as well. Alright, sign a skill. This is our fleet guy. First skill here. 10% um, health, fleet health on fleet. Not too bad. Four experience per turn on fleet. That's pretty good. You know, let's take a little bit more experience. It's going to help them grow or, uh, you know, an extra grow, but like level up a little bit quicker. I think that's going to be fine. The other ones are also very good to have at some point as well.
more Horatios. Um, what do I want to do? Can, can I afford another Beautifier? I wonder if I can afford to do another one. Two at once might not be a bad idea. What's all this red stuff? Putting units of population in these slots will create overpopulation penalties for the system approval. Really? What? Overpopulation. Okay, well then let's colonize something else then. Um, Molten Springs is beneficial. Well, it's not terrible. It's not a huge planet, but... Uh, it's going to lower our approval there as well, though. Um, yeah, anomaly here is terrible. It's got at least got a decent anomaly. Let's just colonize this. It's not going to be great, but maybe it helps some of the overpopulation a little bit. Maybe it'll probably even out to be in the exact same amount of, uh, unhappiness in the end or close to it probably two turns on robotics we start making some attack ships actual attack ships instead of our little uh pseudo attack ships that we beefed up our uh, scouts for Uh, another Hisho, another Horatio. Man, we are growing crazy fast. I mean, it's all this food that we've got. <laughs> We're just growing so fast. New event, Slingshot. Your fleet enters the system, Kais, and is barely slowed from super light speed when a belt of rocks circling one of the planets starts to peel off and head towards you on a carefully calibrated collision course. With the current inertia and momentum, unfortunately, a course change is impossible. We can study that. Minus 20% fleet health, or we can destroy. Let's study. Why not? I think it'll be fine. We are Riftborn. We come into your cosmos on a mission of survival. Okay. We come in peace. <laughs> One turn on robotics. We're almost to INA over here. Everything else looks somewhat okay. We really need the ability to, uh, I guess, investigate some of the curiosities that it keeps popping up about to hopefully get the Omdor guys into our, our system for free, basically. Just completed. Neuro Robotics. Um, let's actually go to the technology screen like I look around a little bit. So we finished Neuro Robotics. We're about to work on efficient shielding currently, which would get us... Oh, wait a minute. Did I do the wrong order? Oh, I think I just queued up the shielding or the, the thingy. Oh, yeah. Neuro Robotics is over here. That's right. That's not the one that gets us the holes. I must have forgot to cancel this one before I select the next one. That's all right. We can uh, actually just give us more approval from the uh, glorification of the gorgeous. That's actually might come in handy. Might have been perfect timing. So yeah, we still want the efficient shielding for the uh, Marchio class attacker hole. Perfectly fine. Your fleet enters an unknown system. Okay, this is the where they interact with the rocks. Science pays. Plus 15 on colonies on Empire for 10 turns. Alright, cool. Smoking Gun Part 1. With the elections approaching, you've begun to take note of the growing support from minority parties within your government. Etc. Etc. A group of mercenaries approaches you, you spies who claim expertise in getting results done. Can I some spies reduce cheat costs during election? Or we just arrest the spies and get some more influence? Sure. Let's take some more influence. I'm not really worried about it. Not too worried about the election at this point. More Horatio. No robotics. It's fine. All right, one more turn and we'll be on INA. Um, I 
Everything else looks good. Ah, we almost have this black hole in our system. Be f plus 50 uh, science on the system. Come on, Tur, let's go. Uh, appreciate your peaceful behavior. Our previous suspicions of your hostility have been greatly reduced. They are now reserved. Well, you're quite welcome. Ah, there's another Hisho, so we can manage our population that way. I mean, one benefit, I suppose, is that it does get rid of some of our pop and lower some of our overcrowding. So even though this is not the most amazing thing in the world, it's still probably going to be beneficial for us in the long run. So sure, we'll splice your genes. Why not? So now we got some pretty, pretty strong whole ratios here. We are losing a war. Will you fight alongside us as if, uh, us if we can offer an alliance? Okay. Sign a skill. Do we want to take the other point here? Probably pretty good. We could take this and actually put him on the system that's struggling with the happiness. No, let's take the other point here. Though. I think this could be fine. All right, you guys move. Academy discovered. Way over there. Well, hello there. Idle fleet. You guys can go ahead and colonize. And there's only one place you can colonize. Again, this is not amazingly great. But it's a little bit strategic. It's a cool looking bird. Got some titanium. We got some dis dust city <laughs> dust deciduous trees. Try to say that twenty times real fast. Um, that's a cool looking planet. We're over here on what appears to be Earth. <laughs> There's Africa. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Um, forest. Um, fifty percent content currently. Output loss. Why are you losing? What am I missing? Um, what? Under blockade? Oh. Well, let's fix that. How many ships you got here? 93, 189, and we're at 226, 458. So, yeah, no, we're going to fight you guys. Get rid of this blockade. Um, I actually don't even think we have to watch this one. I think we're going to be pretty strong. So we'll turn off the watch. Oh, no. There we go. Turn it off. And let's just fight. Yeah. I'm okay with the turtle. Decisive victory. Teeny tiny bit of damage. Nothing bad. All right. So now, if we go in here, that was a little scary. Colonize in 35 turns. We can increase the food. Let's do that. Why not? And then, you know what? Let's use some of this influence. More my... Uh... No, we're not going to need that. Getting it to grow faster is fine. I don't think we need a lot of population to move here, though. There's only one planet. It's going to populate quick enough. I right, see so you guys. How about you guys... Def what do I want you guys to do? You know what? How about you guys come down here and defend this? In fact, how about you go down there with them to get us our full four uh, com uh, command point fleet? Uh, intergalactic supermarket is done. The system level, more gold. Very, very nice. Or, I say gold, dust. Um, glorification. This is the one that's plus 10 per luxury deposit, which we have two of. So that could come in pretty handy. Although we're currently ecstatic, so we probably can wait a little bit. Um, plus one resource generation on strategic resource deposits. We do have one of those. Um, what else could we do? Don't think we need a lot of food right now. We're actually doing pretty well in the food department. One good thing about having all these ratio is that we don't have to worry about who goes to what planet because <laughs> they're all going to be the same on every planet. Um, magnetic. 
Do we have any anomalies? We do not have any anomalies. I go for one of these um, once per galaxy type things. 25 turns. Wow. Plus 10% per system level. I mean, do we even have a chance? I don't know if we have a chance. Specializations, specializations we can do? We can. Industrial zone. Uh, It's better on hot. And we do have two hot. So, you know, let's cancel you. Let's, let's specialize both of these things real quick. Get a little bit more uh, production out of these guys. And kind of revisit after that. Colonized ice. You're already going to be overcrowded if you get two more pop. But um, we could move one guy over here, though. So let's grab you. Oh, come on, grab you. Put you over there. We're just a little bit of the overpopulation. Still happy overall. Uh, how many luxury resources? You have three. So this glorification thing would be very beneficial for you. So let's do that. Is this a system level though? Or uh, yeah, system level, but it's we can do one for every system. So that should be fine. I, I was trying to say that it's not an empire level. So we don't have to lose that and not be able to create it somewhere else as well. All right, well, we got another, another system basically going. We'll have another one eventually. And uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. I do appreciate you watching, and I uh, hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.